My name is Lebo Tyler. I'm from Mobile, and I'm a junior math major. I really didn't think I'd be in any of this. I was involved in high school, and I thought, you know, I kind of was going to lead that in high school, but kind of got bored in my dorm my first year. And uh, my second semester, I had a, man, a teacher by the name of Jonathan Seelan, and he had a civic scholar program that was basically like gives money to do a, um, a, a project. And ever since then, I just really enjoyed it. It was uh, the Can Castle contest that goes on in the part of the spring food drive that goes on. Uh, we were able to do one at the high school, uh, and once I did that, seen the results of it, seen how much we raised, and how, you know, how it got me out of my dorm. And instead of watching Netflix all day, it actually got me out. So I've been in involved ever since. Then uh, Ryan Cole came up to me with this. He was also a civic scholar at the time, and he had this idea, and they found the Campus Kitchen Project. And he asked me would I be interested in being part of the leadership team. I quickly agreed, and uh, ever since then, like I've been involved. I, then I got the job in uh, the Office of Civic Engagement with Jonathan Seelan, and so it hasn't really stopped. And I, and honestly, I don't see it stopping now. <laughs> Campus Kitchen Project is a, it's a, it's a nationwide thing. We take the food from the dining hall that didn't get put out, and we redistribute it in the meals. We try to give them a full course meal, starch, vegetable, meat, and we redistribute it to. Uh, areas in need in our community, such as Head Start, Christian Love Center. Uh, we even got a, we got a contract with First Baptist not too long ago, and we also do uh, the College Senior Center. I remember my freshman year, our poverty rate in Pike County was like 35%, like 33% children. Like now it's like 27%, and I, all the numbers have gone down. So I don't know if that's just a result of a year or just that little span that I have been involved, but I know that, that there's an impact that is happening. In, uh, it gives you a strong presence in the community. It gives you a sense that people, that you actually care about what's going on outside our campus because it's easy to get stuck on campus. Just treating it like it's your own home. You know, um, a lot of people, a lot of times, and uh, it's, not, it's to a fault, it's like by default, that we don't really go out into the city and see what's going on. We, everything's on campus, everything we need. So when you go out and you see different issues that you may have tackled back at home, you know, it's like a challenge to actually go out and do it because it's, it's really a home for our four or five years or however long you're here. Troy gives us a lot of opportunity. I really enjoyed um, everything that I've seen that they did. I tried to at least attempt it. It's not really difficult to get involved because everyone, need, people are looking for help. So if you just kind of offer yourself, there's no telling where you'd end up. Uh, I didn't expect to be this far. I didn't think I'd ever do any of this, but the fact that I am, and it's impacting me in such a way that it makes me actually want to help more and uh, just be involved and actually uh, inspire more people to be involved because the more you have, the more the merrier.